What if we all uh, just sing at the same time? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh god. I'm right, living right, in the that. 21st okay. century. Doing, doing something mean to it. Doing nothing but it. Anyone has seen do it. Spring for the haters. Got a nice ring to it. We brought together seven Kanye fans. I am a Kanye fan. I'm 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 a Kanye fan 100 percent One is a liar. If the group discovers who the liar is, they'll split a cash prize. If the liar survives, they win the entire prize. Who is the odd one out? So we just all introduce ourselves, say our favorite song. I'm Susie, favorite song is Lost in the World. My name is Jay Bruce, and my favorite song is Bittersweet Poetry from Graduation. You see that right there? Oh, okay, okay, okay. My name is Alex, my favorite song is Amazing. My name is Chase, and my favorite song is Bound To. My name is Carrie, and my favorite song is Never Let Me Down. My name is Ty, my favorite song is Famous. My name is Jack, and my favorite song is St. Papa. What's everyone's favorite album, though? I wear it on my chest. <laughs> right here. My beautiful dark twisted yeah. fantasy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's my favorite. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Life of Pablo for me. That's good. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go with you. Oh, with that. Yeah, Life of Pablo. When Ty said his favorite song, Jack was like, oh, same. And I was like, ah, oh, that's kind of that's kind of soft. Any of you guys seen him in concert? Unfortunately, uh, no. twice. Life twice? of no. Pablo. Life of Pablo. Jesus. Where were, where'd you guys really? see him at? Seattle. Seattle. When, Seattle. when he Wait. went off on uh, yes. Jay Z. Yes, yes. Jay Z called me, bro. You still ain't called me. Bro, we were chanting. Okay. We were like, oh my off. gosh. My dad was doing security at the time, oh, wow. and so he was letting me go under the stage. Oh, no way. Oh, just yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, it was a spot. I saw him at the, the Meadows Music Festival where he left for the Kim Kardashian. Oh, yeah. so, you know, I'm sorry, it's a family emergency. I have to stop the show. No, you know. He ran off stage. I was like Whoa. 40 minutes of just heaven, and then it was like, wow, my money is gone. <laughs> why, why did you rob me more than you've already robbed me? But you had the experience. Everybody else just watched it on TMZ. Yeah, it was part of a Keeping Up With The Kardashians episode. It was yeah. pretty cool. I voted for Alex just because she was a little bit more on the quiet side the first round and didn't really get involved, but I guess neither did I, so I can't really say much. She was a little bit too enthusiastic for me, which made me suspect that maybe she has something to hide. She stood out because she didn't stand out. Good luck, guys. I only got to say like four words on camera. and I think I just said St. Pablo in my name and then I was voted out. <laughs> How do you defend him? Like, you know, throughout just being a Kanye fan, like what, That's like, what is your moment? Yeah. I think Everyone thinks that he means exactly what he says, but I think that he just has a really difficult time articulating himself. There would be no Travis Scott. There would be none of these none like of these. influential people without him. So it's like hard to like do away with him, even like when he does like problematic things. I'm just gonna let him do what he does. I'm gonna mind my own business. I separate him from fashion and music to his little politics and stuff. He's having like oh, a really human journey through oh, everything, yeah. especially yeah. since he's being so vocal about what he's going through with like being bipolar. I don't think that's easy. I do admire him for like trying to articulate it in the way that he does, not in the way that society says, oh, this is how you're supposed to behave. What was like everyone's pivotal moment that they knew they were a Kanye West fan? I grew up listening to Kanye West. It was like my mom would put it on when we clean and stuff. What would she put on? Like what? Oh, college dropout, like a gotcha. champion. Yeah. Come on, we know. Yeah, similar experience. Uh, my mom put me on Kanye. We When Tower That's Records crazy. was around. My family hates this you, man. You guys remember <laughs> Tower Records? We would go like every other weekend and she picked up late registration. I didn't know That's who he was. Cool. I was a kid. I was really young. She puts him on. I'm like, <gasps> heard him say came on. I was like, this is it. Uh, her responses seem to like frame around just old Kanye, not so much new Kanye. My pivotal moment that kind of stuck with me was I was watching like MTV music videos and just saw this guy mumbling through the wire. Like he said, we kind of grew up together because every time you drop something, you just kind of like, you know, we're there with him throughout all the journey. Uh, not to be mean, but she seemed very plain, very Pax on Kanye fan. I didn't really care about music in general until like senior year of high school. And I just remember like the life of Pablo was just about to drop and I was just like so curious about it because I was reading the Wikipedia page about how it was like three Pablos 
It was Escobar. Picasso. Yeah, yeah Picasso. I don't know. It's just such a different environment. He said, like, the three Pablos, and then he didn't know the third Pablo. I was like, that's really sus. Shoot, my cousin put me on to Kanye when I was, like, younger, mm -hmm. and then that's when I started to, like, really develop my, like, love for Kanye. Not saying that I'm a stan. I don't I know, man. You have a tattoo, tattoo of them. Yeah, that's pretty dedicated. Pretty dedicated. Yeah. You just did that for this video. I do. No, 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 no. <laughs> I got the angels right here, too. Can we see the angels? Are yeah, we allowed to see the angels? <laughs> <laughs> You got it right oh, here. Wow, right yeah. here. Oh, wow. That's, that's, not Etsy. that's not from Etsy. That's not from Etsy. She was the least involved, in my personal opinion. Carrie didn't really give me like a reassurance that she was a true Kanye fan. Carrie was good. I think she was playing a tactic of introducing a question, but then observing. I wasn't super peppy. I think I was really just listening and observing and maybe they took that as a sign of some type of concealment. If everyone feels confident that you already caught the mole, you can end the game now. But if the majority has doubt, the game will continue. Please raise your hand if you want to continue playing the game. That's majority. Starting now, for every time all of you vote out someone that is not the mole, the total prize money will be reduced. Oh Bro, what? In this round, you will choose a Kanye song and finish each other's lyrics one by one. Are we allowed to say the curse words in this song? Oh yeah, that's, was, that's what I was like. I was gonna do it regardless. Okay. <laughs> this is a pretty notable song on the album. Yeah. All right, so we'll just go down the line. Now, if I f this model, and she just bleached her pool, and I'm gonna get bleach on my T-shirt, and I'm gonna think I'm like, <laughs> oh, that was fine when I let her. We was hot in Tribeca. She get under your skin if you let her. I don't want them to look about it. <laughs> 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 that, was, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Yeah, that's that. funny. I feel like I'm in Pitch Perfect. Uh. Bruh. I met this girl when I was three years old. Oh. I know this is And a, what I love most, she got uh, so much sauce. She's a, Excuse me, little homie. I know. No, you don't. I don't know, know me, but okay. Uh, okay, okay. Honestly, I got really nervous, and then I just forgot completely everything. I feel like we all know different, like, yeah, or have like favorites. Is. What about a more miscellaneous song from that album? Made it sound uh, all wacky. Wacky corny. Twisted, uh, twisted uh, on a blasted boy. boy. Six uh, addiction, uh, twisted uh, fiction. Uh, we'll come around, children. Did 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 listen. Did Can we get first fire? Oh, yeah. So high. Yeah, we have a favorite. <laughs> yeah, we have a favorite. Oh, that's good. That's good. Oh, okay. Okay. When a real N-word holds you down, what are you supposed to do? Drown. This man right here. <laughs> I don't know where I don't know where we're going from there. I don't know. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. We all do power. Alex chose power for us to kind of bounce back and forth, which that's like a very popular song. Like this could be one that kind of everybody can show up to. Oh, okay, wait. What if we all just sing at the same time? Yeah. yeah okay. Oh God. I'm oh, living in the 21st okay. century. Doing, doing something mean to it, doing, doing nothing but it. Anyone has seen do it. Spring for the haters. Got a nice ring to it. Jay Bruce, he kind of threw me for a loop just because he couldn't really like come up with anything. Maybe you stopped being a Kanye fan after the time you had those tattoos done. I guess every superhero <laughs> has <laughs> theme music. No <laughs> one man should have all that power. The clock's ticking, I just count the hours. Stop tripping, I'm tripping off the power. I don't think we got any closer to guessing anyone. Seemed like a detour on the investigation. It was like if Scooby-Doo had a musical episode. We have a tie. It's a five-way tie. What? <gasps> We were, yeah, all we're like, who is it? We're all spider -Man I've right watched now. the show. That's <laughs> never right, happened. Right, like, hold on, hold on. <laughs> One minute to try to figure out who the mole is. We all love him, but let's be a little critical. Um, Worst thing he's ever said. Slavery was a choice. Yeah, 100%. That's a That's, um, another one that he said was he went on air for the Red Cross thing for Hurricane Katrina said, George Bush hates black That's people. That's pretty He doesn't funny. care about black people. Yeah. When he was at the concert and the guy was in the wheelchair, that one was, I can't oh, say yeah. the one you already said. Yeah. yeah. Agree, the red hat thing, yeah, him Trump, running for president one, yeah. under like a Republican band. Like, <laughs> We can yeah, really no. like do it, but yeah. Do it. yeah. Uh, I mean, that houseway stuff. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, he had that interview where he was like, you know, oh, going sway, off the of sway. Sway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it yourself. Houseway, houseway. That wasn't that bad. That wasn't that bad, though. I know. I can't really think of anything bad, bad though. You can't? Favorite. No, I'm just because no. I'm, <laughs> I'm not okay. okay. I'm like, okay, man. I can't, I can't keep defending you in these streets.
I thought he was like very charismatic and he like came in like so excited. Alex was wearing Nike sneakers. So I was like, okay, that's pretty sus. I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I don't, I don't really know why they eliminated me. <sighs> Please raise your hand if you want to continue playing the game. Okay, the game will end now. If the lights turn green, that means you have voted out the mole and you win. If the lights turn red, that means the mole is still in the box and you lose. Damn. Oh, oh my gosh. So, so those real tattoos. I'm surprised. I thought we got the mole out. Will the fake Kanye fan please step forward and reveal yourself in three, two, one. Oh, that makes sense. Every I trust round. you guys. Yeah. 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 I voted for it. Every single round. I peeped that though. I peeped that you were voting I was surprised only because we had all sung together. I guess at the end of the day, the bag talks and she broke oh, my heart. Bro, it was right it in was front really of us fun. the whole time. The whole time, I know. Nike's on. That should be like kind of a dead giveaway because like Kanye's so against like Nike and whatnot. That's like going into Costco with like a Sam's Club card. I am no longer a Kanye fan. I believe that when you have a successful platform and influence, it's your responsibility to be mindful of your actions and what it is that you're saying. So I could no longer be a fan because of that. It makes sense. You can go from being a Kanye lover to a hater really quick because of how volatile his personality is. I'm of black creative and to see a black creative who deals with mental health issues reach this level of prominence and success will keep me rooted as a Kanye fan and I feel like seeing him in that context is what a real fan of him is and of his legacy and his persona. We want to thank you all for participating and give you all a gift. Cool. These are odd one out bags. We're all winners today. We're going to sport this. Good job Alex. Thanks guys. Yeah!